complete your account. So once you've done that, you want to go to the first challenge, which is called the Hour of Code. It's right here. And this challenge has several things going on. The first one is getting started. So for right now, all I want you to do is go through this one called getting started. And you can see it's got um, all of these things going on right here. The first one, which is the one we're going to go to right now, is kind of a nothing thing. It's just you can watch. You can actually you can actually change it and you can make things happen. But give just gives you an idea of how this thing works. So let's click on that. And there's the robot. And what you can see right here is it just says turn right and pick up. So when I click on this, it turns right and it picks up. Now, if you want, you can uh, you can add to it. You can click right here and you can say, okay, put down the paintbrush. And then let's see, uh, go forward. Uh, I don't know what this thing is down here, why that showed up. Uh, go left, go forward, go left, go forward. So watch what happens now. Oops. So you can, this is how this thing works. Now you can, you can do it two ways. You can use these things. If you click here, it will tell you what it will do. So if I add this to it, let's see, this is, uh, if you hover over it, I think, yeah, it tells you what it does. So when you hover it, so if I click on uh, put down, it's the last one. I'll do it one more time. It starts. And the paintbrush is down and it goes forward and it turns and it goes forward and it turns. And it didn't work because it was facing forward when it was supposed to put something down. So before I do that, I have to say, and you can actually type it in here, L-E-F-T. All right, so let's try that again. Now, this is not actually necessary for you to do. This is just, this is their introduction, but I just want to show you that how this essentially works. See, then I just put it down. Hooray! So you're going to go through this, and you can see up here, this tells you where you're going. Now, you can also go back, because in a couple of these, uh, these directions, these things disappear, and you actually have to remember what to type. So the thing that you need to remember is things like paint. Uh, in one of them, it's paint white, and in another one, it's paint black. So you would just type paint black instead of paint white. So if I change this to black, you can see that what's going to happen. So you just need to remember how to spell forward, right, left, pick up, uh, put down. These are all the commands that these things do. But at some point, it's going to, it's going, these things aren't going to be there. So you're going to have to actually type this stuff. Here, watch. See, now it's the black paint. So, well, gray, if you will. And that's it. So you're going to go through this, click on the next one. Shows you a video, tells you about robot, robotic programming. Okay, I'll let it go there. All right, so in this one, you have to go, oops, be careful. You, when, you, when you're over it, you're hovering it, you're zooming in and zooming out. Um, but it tells you what to do. It says here you're gonna, you can tell the robo to pick up stuff. So it, in the beginning, the robot is not, is not able to do it. So you have to add to this right here, over here, and that will, when, when you complete it successfully, you can go to the next one. It'll tell you, hooray, and you get a big check, check mark right here when you do it correctly. Um, notice that if you want to go forward more than once, then you just put a parentheses and a number uh, for how many, how many uh, squares you want to go. So if you back up, you can just count the squares. So obviously, this one you wanted to go, uh, let's see, let me start. I'm going to pause it. Okay, so it's way down here. So the obvious thing would be you'd want it to go forward three, left. Well, actually, it's going to turn right, go forward three. Notice they have forward, forward here, but you could do forward three. Let's see. Let me just redo this here. So if I get rid of this one, I'll say forward three, and then turn left, and then it goes forward two. Let's see, one, two, three, left, one, two. That should work. So I'm going to click play.
And it says, awesome, dude, that's the way you get the big check mark. And then you can go to the next one. And that's basically all you've got to do. So uh, take your time. And if you, if you know, if, if it doesn't work, go back and look at your code and try to figure out what's not working. Okay.